The following is a story of a young woman who is struggling with depression and self-cancellation thoughts after being allowed to transition as a minor. When I was 15, I started really liking a popular band called Arctic Monkeys. My friend at school got me into them. After just a few months of getting into the band, I decided I wanted to be like them and learn guitar. I got a guitar and started practicing. I would imagine myself being in a famous band for fun. However, I couldn't help but notice that all of the famous bands were men. Men would think the band was cool and women would be attracted to the band members. I thought there was no way I could be famous or respected the way I wanted being a female. I would read about sexism in the music industry, then I'd read about sexism in general. I have a very emotionally stunted family and thought that men receive the love and care while women give the love and care and get nothing back for it. I was so angry that I was female, as it meant I'd never be loved or respected by anyone. I cried that I wasn't born a boy and wished I could have been. I started reading about transgender online, but thought to myself I could never actually be one of those people. I was too self-conscious and cared what people thought of me due to a lifetime of bullying and being ignored by family members. I instantly went into severe depression. It was agony thinking it was impossible for me to be loved or respected due to an unchangeable birth defect. I thought how male is default, and I was so unlucky. I decided I should just transition to male and go stealth so no one would know I was FTM. Then I could get the respect from others at least. I dropped out of high school at 16 because I was too depressed to cope with the work and I didn't want anyone to know I was becoming FTM. I got my hair cut short and started wearing male clothes and binding. I never left the house as I was so embarrassed. No one outside of my parents and siblings knew I was trans. I stopped speaking to all my friends. I became more isolated and even more depressed. Every day, I would analyze the shape of my skull, my body, my hands, and despair about how they'd always give me away. I started testosterone age 17. I took it as a gel you rubbed on your arms every night. I took it for three months, and then it was approaching my 18th birthday. In my head, 18 was old enough to get top surgery. But something in me knew I couldn't get the surgery. I couldn't bear it anymore. The idea of permanently altering my body freaked me out too much. I stopped taking the hormones, as I knew there was no point if I wasn't going to get the surgery anyway. It was so painful, as I still desperately wanted to be male. As time went on, I slowly started presenting as female again. Only to fit in in public, I didn't want to look female at all. I just wanted to be judged even less. I have a deep, seated fear that if I get judged for doing anything out of the ordinary, I will be despised and avoided by everyone. I still had no friends and rarely left the house. I had been shy and socially awkward even before all the depression and trans stuff, but now it was debilitating. I signed up to finish high school at a college, but couldn't focus or pay attention in class. I didn't speak to anyone for the whole year, and then felt suicidal for being so outcast. I failed the first year and dropped out. Anyway, now I'm 21, and I'm still stuck with these problems. My thinking about male and females has changed a lot, I've matured a lot in my thinking. I just have no sense of identity now and it scares me, Everything I do is just a calculation of how best to fit in, the clothes I wear, the way I talk, my hair, personality. I have no sense of identity. I don't know what I actually like and don't like. I was so sure when I was 16 that I was male, I hated being female. It felt like it was 100% a necessity to transition. Just a few months ago, it was my 21st birthday and I was so depressed and suicidal again, that I was female even after a good few years of not being bothered by it. Now, I'm in university in a new environment, and suddenly I'm almost liking being female. I genuinely was thinking about getting my nails done at a salon. I really want a pink pair of glasses I saw someone else wearing. Just a few months ago I was crying and stressed over the idea of having to wear a dress for the university formal ball. Now I'm excitedly trying on different dresses 
and enjoying the idea of dressing up. I don't know why my identity is so influenced by what is around me. I don't know what I actually like and don't like. Why the hell am I suddenly into being girly when I never have been before, except maybe when I was a young kid? I am brain dead. I put so much mental effort into repressing the painful trans feelings that I ended up repressing all thought. I don't know how to undo it. I can't focus on schoolwork, and I have no motivation to succeed. Even though I'm cool with being female, I'm still severely depressed. I fear my brain has molded into this shape after feeling like this every day since 16. Isolating in my room for years with no friends destroyed the little social skill I had. I have no idea how to make friends anymore, and I'm so lonely. I don't understand how it works and I'm so scared of embarrassing myself by suggesting hanging out with people when I'm not sure if they like me or if it's normal to hang out or not at this level of acquaintances. Honestly, I feel like I will end up self-canceling because I can't cope with this anymore. I am not a person. I forgot how to be one. I feel like I can't assimilate back into society. I just wish I could make friends. The trans thing snowballed into me, losing all social skills, becoming severely depressed, losing intelligence and cognitive abilities. If it never had happened, I would have stayed in society and progressed normally. Here are some of the responses to the post. The link to the original post will be pinned in the comment section down below. Really sorry to hear all this. It sounds like right now, you're dealing with some kind of imposter syndrome. You feel like these unfortunate occurrences during your prime developmental years had irreparably damaged you mentally. The truth is that it hasn't. If you give it a few years, you will get over it. Finding a self-identity is hard, but I would challenge you to ignore the gender aspect of it and just focus on finding things that motivate you and make you happy. 21 is still young. When I was 16, I also dropped out of school and became socially isolated, which led me down a path of choices that tore emotionally at the fabric of my psyche. I'm almost 27 now, and there are some moments where I still feel a sort of imposter syndrome about where I am today, like living life as a well-adjusted adult with people who love me, is all an act, even if only for a brief moment sometimes I still do feel this way. But the proof is in the pudding. An act cannot go on for this long, and there truly are people who like me for who I am, even if who I am was something I struggled so hard with identifying at one point in my life. Don't even think about yourself. There's too many things in life that will bring you joy. You have lots of time to find yourself, and I know it sounds unreasonable and impossible right now to get over this, but I'm positive that you can if you give it the time. I wish I had a concrete list of things to tell you to make you feel better, but the one thing I want you to understand is that time will erode this and you will get over it. From your story, I think you're a female. It seems like your wish to become male was a projection of your insecurities in some manner. Thinking you cannot be famous or respected as a female is absolutely not true, but I'm sure you realize that now. Men do not receive the love and care you think we do. We are generally expected to be able to handle emotions on our own and are not permitted socially to show too much emotion at fear of being a bitch, according to other men's standards. Hey, thank you for sharing. I know a lot of people have gone down a similar road and I know that a lot of people are in the process of going down a similar road, and it'll help them to read about your experiences. I don't have any personal experience with being trans, but I have bounced in and out of depression. The one thing you described about missing out on social interactions and identity formation really connected with me. My deepest tussle with them black dogs of depression started in the winter of 2017, partly because I was laid off from the first real job I had that I was proud of. It sucked. And in a big way, I also realized that I just didn't know who I was, or what I was doing, or what I even liked, like what you describe. I had always just sort of fit in with whatever was going on around me and gone with the flow. Then I realized, looking at everyone else, that everyone just seemed to have a thing. 
That guy's thing is the guitar, so he knows what his life's about. That girl's all about international disaster relief, so she knows what she's about. But I didn't have anything like that. That said, in the middle of that last, and worst, bout of depression, when I was fully isolated from most other people, I managed to just buckle down and start chipping something of an identity together. I'd ask myself what I genuinely liked, and then I'd go and do that thing, regardless of what other people were saying or doing. I also got myself a job, a supremely crappy retail job that felt shameful to do while in my final year of a master's program, but a job nonetheless. Things didn't get better quickly, but little by little without my realizing it, they did. My crappy job gave me purpose, and the extra responsibilities gave me a reason to get up and work hard. Bits of my identity started to come together as I realized what I actually did and didn't like. When I found myself in a group of people and they were trying to decide where to go or what to eat, I'd actually say what I wanted to do and even occasionally made the decision when everyone else seemed indecisive. Anyway, sorry for going off on my own rant, but I just wanted to let you know that I was 25 when all that was going down. Now I'm off living on my own and working a full-time job, and I'm in a much better place. Life's still not perfect, and I've got my remnant issues from my earlier difficulties, but it finally feels like I've got control of my life's reins for the most part. You're 21, and even though you've missed out on all that identity development, I just wanted to let you know that it's not too late. You can start cobbling yourself back together and start making better sense of all those depression thoughts. If you want to talk about it, seriously, don't hesitate to shoot me a message. I know I haven't experienced all the same stuff as you, but I also know it sometimes helps to bounce random thoughts and feelings off of people. I relate to this really strongly, especially where you say, I don't know why my identity is so influenced by what is around me. I don't know what I actually like and don't like. I have felt this way for a long time too, and I think it really contributed to my identity problems. Almost all of my idols growing up were male. Men in bands, male actors, even male fictional characters. It shouldn't have been a big deal, but I was an extremely lonely, anxious teen with few friends and poor social skills, so I turned to music and fiction a lot to help me cope with that. I was pretty much clinging to any kind of escapism I could get to make myself feel better. Since detransitioning, it has helped me a little to expand what kind of fiction I consume and read, watch more things with female characters, buy women for women, listen to more female musicians, etc. I know that won't actually help the root problem I have with my identity, though. I'm also very stressed and anxious about not really feeling like I have an identity, not being sure what's actually me. I've been trying to be more introspective about it, actually examining my feelings towards things and seeing if I can figure them out. Like, how do I feel about certain things if I ignore other people's opinions and just try to really think for myself? But it can be really hard. So I'm going to look into getting therapy to try to deal with the issues I have and find ways to cope with them. If you're able to do that, I'd really recommend it. And also just know that you're not alone and you are still so young. You have time to figure yourself out. If you can, try not to push yourself too hard, but let things come to you. Try different things, and try not to be afraid to say, I like this, or I don't like this, even if you don't have a reason for your opinion. Best of luck, and there are so many people here if you want to just talk. Please, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe, share, and like to raise awareness.